Welcome to Shirtless Cooking with Dave. Today, I'm gonna take you through a testosterone boosting, muscle building, post-workout meal that's gonna change your life. So, we just got done with our workout. We're cooking up some food, and in our meal today, we're gonna have bison, rice, eggs, pickles, carrots, and spinach. Every ingredient here has a purpose. The bison is one of your best sources of protein. Red meat gives you a really full panel of branched chain amino acids, really important for protein synthesis. Eggs are one of the most bioavailable sources of leucine, which are really important for not only muscle building, but for hormone production with some really good cholesterol. Rice is important for replenishing muscle glycogen, so you can stay in a positive caloric balance and stay anabolic. Spinach, carrots, pickles, these have a lot of valuable micronutrients. Spinach is amazing for giving you all the important vitamins and minerals you need to be optimal. The pickles are a vegetable, but let's be honest. The pickles are really about getting some good salt intake in, and the vinegar is great for your digestion. Again, carrots, great source of carotene, very important vitamins and minerals. You should try to get some vegetables in every meal, especially the ones that have high utility. First things first, we're gonna start the oven. I, am, uh, I like to cook my meat on a pan or a skillet here. So I'm just gonna get the flame going, just kind of a medium or a moderate flame. And I'm gonna start by basting the pan with some butter. This is really good fat, but again, also a really good source of cholesterol that you need to optimize your hormones. I like to have a lot of butter, <laughs> so I don't mind. The great thing about bison is that it's generally low in fat. So you get to have fun with any of the, the fat additives you can place around it where marbleized steak actually is very high in fat. You might not add too much extra fat to a meal like that. So while this pan is getting hot, I'm gonna start by seasoning my meat. And uh, any kind of seasoning is good. I like things that contain salt in them because we just worked out and it's very important to replenish salt. So I'm gonna use my seasoning right here. This is, they call it Steakhouse Onion Burger, and uh, pretty tasty stuff, but whatever floats your boat, I guess. I really like this bison. I get it at Safeway. It is two steaks for about 15 bucks, and it's really good grass-fed bison, um, and I like it that it comes in the steak form. It's really hard to find it. I've seen ground bison a lot, but the actual steaks are a little bit more rare to find just in a supermarket. So if you got a Safeway, Ask them if they got that bison. A lot of bang for your buck. So I can hear the, uh, the pan starting to sizzle, which is telling me that it's probably getting hot enough. And I go both sides with these guys. Just get the old onion bar on there. Oh yeah, I like a lot of seasoning, Nate. I like it a lot. Some people like to go light. I like to go heavy. I like to go heavy on the seasoning. I'm spread that butter around. Bam. We're gonna cook our eggs on the same pan too. We're just gonna wait until the steak starts to cook. And you put it on, this is the sound you're looking for. Oh, dude, that's it. That sound is the sound of, of dinner, of feeding, of, of battle and victory. In, in Dances with Wolves, where Kevin Costner goes on the buffalo hunt with the Indians, and they get him and they cut out the buffalo's heart and he eats it and it's just this raw, visceral, mo manly moment. And I've always thought of myself like Susan Sarandon in Bull Durham. All right, so while the steak's cooking, it's a good time to get some other shit done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare our plates, we'll get all the vegetables, we'll start cooking the rice. This shit, not super complicated. Again, it's really cheap. I think these bags are $1.99 and it's 90 second rice. And what's great about this rice is the macros are on the back. So there's about 100 grams of carbohydrates in each bag. I usually have a bag per meal, but you can tell your macros however you need. Camille takes half a bag. I take a full bag because I am a full bag. Two minutes of microwave. My secret to keeping the house clean is paper plates. Whereas other people's secret to keeping the house clean is not washing their dishes. So I'll dress these up with the veggies while the meat's cooking. I like to get a good healthy portion of spinach, like a fistful of spinach in each one. Um, sometimes I cook it, sometimes I just put it on. I think the most important thing is just to get it in, however you can. It's really important, find a way, blend it up in a smoothie, cook it up, put a dress on it, doesn't matter, get your fucking spinach in. 
pickles are the most delicious part of the meals. I mean, I am fully addicted to pickles now. Stan Efferding put me onto these, and uh, not only did I notice that my digestion started to get a lot better, probably just because the amount of vinegar that's in these things, but they have a ton of salt, so uh, they make you feel good, especially post-workout, replenishing the salt that you've lost is a really important part of recovery. Let's go two little pickles on each one. Should be good right there. Carrots. You don't have to go crazy with the carrots. You don't have to go crazy with the vegetables because if you have too much fiber, that can fuck with your digestion and your ability to effectively absorb stuff. So, you know, I just go four or five little carrots on each plate. That's plenty. That steak's looking good. Kind of put this shit away while it's going. I just love planning things out. So my meals are very repetitive, really consistent, not super exciting, but uh, you know, we're in for a purpose. So when I flip the meat to uh, flip it over to the other side to cook, that's when I start putting the eggs on. So I'll just take an egg, crack it, usually go sunny side up. And just get that shit on there. That'll be a valuable addition. Now you tell me, Nate, that looks like a man meal right there, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, steak, eggs, fucking bicep curls. If that, if that doesn't give you a boner, there's something wrong with your manhood. Get some rice on the plate, just dump it right in there. Bam, 100 G's of carbs. I repeat the same exact meal sometimes four or five times a day. Um, because it, it serves utility, you know, like I said, eating to me is not for entertainment, it's, it's for a purpose, and uh, what I want to do is make sure that everything I'm putting in my body is getting me closer to my goal. If it doesn't give me something, I don't eat it. Here we go, we got Nate's rice here. ba -boom. Look at that. Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben did it right. He knew how to make rice in 90 seconds. That's gotta cook a little more. Those eggs are almost ready. So, skillet was pretty hot on this one, so they will cook pretty fast. Oh, looking for a spatula. Come on, spatula. Don't fuck up the flip. Boom! Don't fuck up that flip. Oh no. Don't break the yolk. The game is skill. Oh fuck, I broke the yolk. So if you break it, just hold it in. Quarterize the wound. Quarterize the wound. Cauterize. <laughs> Cauterize that shit. What we can do now is just to, you know, when you're watching your meat, I like to watch my meat closely. You're watching your meat, it's really fine. Cut into it, see what it looks like. You know, these steaks, they vary in thickness. So sometimes this is a thinner cut, this is a little thicker. So you can always just cut in and check it. That's looking actually pretty damn good. This guy's damn near ready. I prefer the meat a little bit more rare, a little bit more red, even bloody. I'm fine with that. I think it tastes better. Um, I'm not a big fan of fully cooking stuff. I think there's more vitamins and minerals and micronutrients you get when you don't fully cook everything. So uh, as long as it's a good, uh, a good cut of meat, that's not from uh, you know grass-fed meat. Usually that's pretty clean stuff. Uh, I, don't, I don't mind eating it rare. Let's try this out. Just cut into it. See what she looks like, dude. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'd say that's uh, somewhere between. Somewhere between rare and medium rare, which I personally like. I like it a lot. <laughs> what I'm gonna do, just for the sake of presentation, mm -hmm. and it's funny, because I'll do this, even if it's just me that's eating, I'll still do it, because I like, I like to look at the meal when I'm done. It just, it makes me feel like I put a good effort in and did a good job. So I'm gonna put the meat on top, and then I'm gonna place the egg right next to it. Put it on top. Boom. There is your 
finished meal my friend. Wow, look at that Testosterone boosting, muscle building, post-workout meal. Eat that every day and you'll have no problem putting on muscle.